still a city, still so far from home. I've searched for you all my life. Cast out like a shadow, racing towards the light. I pray to see you one more time. Well, we made it to the Cottage Grove Speedway for night number one of two of their Memorial Day Sprint Car Show. We're running here this Saturday and we're also running tomorrow on Sunday evening. Carly, how you feeling getting back to Cottage Grove? I feel great. Honestly, uh, a two-day show is actually going to be really great because there's some things that I just need to work on. We've had good luck here. We've had bad luck. So I just got to work on those things and uh, try to get better at them, I guess. 100%. And uh, this is going to be Carly's vlog where you're going to follow her along for her whole night. And tonight we're going to be running in the limited sprint division. It's not a 305. I know I get that question asked a lot. It's about a 550 horsepower, 360 cubic inch engine. And I think we're expecting about 15 or 20 sprint cars tonight around the Cottage Grove Speedway, which is a pretty racy quarter mile. Uh, it kind of races like a big track. You can run right up top, you can run right around the bottom, and there's a ton of banking. But before Carly gets strapped in for qualifying and we get the night started, I want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Flow Racing. Now, as you guys know, Flow Racing is a live stream service that covers over 1300 events in dirt track racing. Some of the big notable ones coming up include the Dirt Late Model Dream on uh, June 9th through 12th. They also have the World 100 and the Lucas Oil Chili Bowl Nationals. So uh, I put a link down below at the top of the description if you guys would like to check them out. It's flowracing.com forward slash Tanner Holmes. That's F-L-O racing.com forward slash Tanner Holmes. Check them out, support them. They're doing so much for our sport and I look forward to working with them uh, throughout the summer of 2021. Let's get into today's video. Video. Carly's having some motor issues. Carly, what was it doing? Uh, it just had no power. So normally our highs, I think I talked this about a few videos ago, our highs are like 80s and I'm running at 68 and that was wide open. And I even moved my wing forward thinking that might help, you know, like get me faster. But it's just something's not right. Well, hopefully we can get it all figured out. We're trying to uh, diagnose the problem right now. I didn't get to see it, but it sounds like, just like she said, uh, no power. Nowhere near close to the RPMs uh, she should be running. Racetrack was a little greasy. It's still kind of burning in as all the rest of the classes go. So I'll try to keep you guys updated on if we can find what it is and get it fixed so Carly, you know, can go to full potential here in this heat race. The racetrack is starting to widen out. We found Carly's problem though. Now it is completely running to its full potential. Uh, two of the plug wires were actually crossed. So it was only firing on six cylinders and that explains why it wasn't getting up to the proper RPMs. Carly, we are in the same heat race though now. Yeah, uh, you start fourth, I start fifth. So uh, the track doesn't look too bad. I'm just uh, kind of figuring out where I probably should run. I'm thinking the bottom. It's a little greasy actually on the bottom, but I 
think that might work just for like a first lap or two. First lap around the bottom. I do think though carrying some momentum around the top is eventually going to be what's quickest. I just ran the trophy dash and that seemed to be best uh, as long as it doesn't get too slick. So Carly's heat race is going to be up next. Good luck. I'll be starting fourth. She'll be starting fifth. Carly went plus two there in her heat race. She started fifth, third row inside, and ended up running third. What lines were you kind of working out there? Uh, I was running, I would enter high and cut down to the like the middle. I think if I just like stayed high all the way around, I'd probably catch the guy in front of me. We had one yellow, so that got me up to fourth. And then there was a really bad wreck at the end that got me into third, and so I just finished third. Good heat race for Carly. Man, the racetracks, it's it's just really fast around the high side. And um, the bottom, I think, will come in for the feature. What are your thoughts? I hope the bottom comes in the feature. Last time we were here, I was uh, pretty decent on bottom. We were passing a lot of cars. Uh, so I just hope, I like a tacky track. I hope it's pretty tacky. Yeah, hopefully there's some grip. I think they're gonna do a little rework. We're gonna go check it out right now because there's an intermission. And then uh, I think you're gonna be rolling off eight tonight for, uh, for our 25 lap feature. Carly, before you hop in, final thoughts before the aiming event. I'm ready. Let's do it. I mean, I'm a little nervous after seeing that crash, but I, it'll be fine. Where do you start? Eight. Carly's going to be rolling off from eight. Good luck. She's going to strap in. Go look at the racetrack one last time. I'm going to climb in. We are the uh, next day main event at the track. They just did some track prep. Uh, looks like it's going to be two lanes between the bottom and the top, and uh, it's time to get after. We're going to be rolling off from front row outside.
made a Facebook post earlier and I had the fans and I guess in one of our last videos I said who do you guys think is gonna win the 18T or the 22C and tonight Carly ran fourth and I did not run in the top four talk us uh, through your race uh, yeah so I started eight so kind of you know mid pack or whatever uh, there was a lot of yellows. We, I think we went like 13 minutes in with like one lap. So I think every, we were at the 20 minutes with yeah. like two laps. Yeah, so every time I would pass the car, there'd be a yellow, so I'd have to go back. And then that would happen like three or four times. So uh, I think actually like the first yellow was like second place, or third place, my bad. Like I think it was third place that actually spun out, so I got that spot. But we just kind of ran seventh for a little bit, then sixth for a little bit, then fifth. And then uh, kind of like, I think what, 10 or 12 laps probably in, I got like to fourth. And then I just stayed fourth all race. I spun out probably about halfway through and that's when you got up a spot. And you almost said you got into me under yellow because some car pushed you in there or whatever. Uh, yeah, so I was entering the corner to go past the lap car and then I saw Tanner spun out so I slammed on the brakes because the lap car was like pushing me down like to the very bottom and I almost hit you, so. Well, uh, that, I think, I guess that ties your career. No, that's actually your career best finish. Yep. So Carly ran fourth tonight. Great to see her run up front. We're going to get her all cleaned up in one more night of racing. Who do you want to thank? Earth the Environmental, uh, Rush Race Gear for the providing me their good race suit. And also, guys, I have some designs coming. Or actually, I have them. We're just going to put them on before my next race. So Stay tuned. Yeah. Stay tuned what the 22C is going to look like. We're going to load up. Fans are getting ready to show up. And like I said, we'll be ready for night number two. Well, I'm extremely proud of how Carly ran tonight. I wish I would have been able to see it all from the grandstands, but I'll have to go back and watch all the footage. Carly, final thoughts after tonight? Uh, ran pretty good. I mean, we didn't qualify as good because we had that issue. But once we got that figured out, I felt like the motor ran, you know, great. We had a good setup. Track wasn't that bad, actually. The bottom ran, uh, the bottom actually came in towards the main, which was kind of in my favor because I kind of like bottom feeder tacky tracks. So, uh, Overall, not a bad night. Went from eight to fourth, so. Plus four, that's all we can ask for. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Carly's getting really good at uh, catfishing there around the bottom, so maybe we'll have to do some sort of Carly catfishing t-shirt. Anyway, see you guys all tomorrow for night number two. I'm gonna have to give it all to try to um, be back on top and beat Carly. So anyway, see you guys all there. Deuces.